And we are back with some more Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. In the last part, we got to be defeated at level 5, 9, and now we're getting a note that seems a little more with better penmanship, so it clearly was not written by me, because if you know anything about me, I have terrible handwriting. <coughs> Homeowner, you have failed to submit our rightful claim. Be advised that it's useless to comply. We will be forced to take out an extreme action. Please submit your home and brains to us forthwith. Sincerely, Dr. Edgar Zomboss. And for the final level of the game, a Knight's Roof level, it looks like. Oh, he's here. Better get ready. It's gonna be one heck of a fight. Listen, though. You know what his weakness is? Gotta hit him in the pancreas. No, that was a different guy. You have to, um, kick him in the... Mm -hmm. You have to press up and up, down, left, right. Er, wait, I remember. It's... Crazy Dave! No! What will I do without you? Nothing to the right. Zom boss. Final level of the game! Conveyor belt style. We're gonna be doing this. I don't think I need to say that I love this music, but... So, we got him, he's gonna be planting zombies here, and, yeah, definitely just wanna... You're definitely gonna wanna keep the melon pulse on the more splash damage friendly lanes, so that's gonna be a little thing you're gonna wanna do. Save the ice shrooms and the jalapenos, just trust me on this, I'll show you why in a bit. But, yeah, um, this is the last level. We're in the home stretch. For the... Also, I also, also, also like try to get a corn pulp in every lane. Just like, please kill this thing quickly. I'm not getting any good. Okay, I'm gonna freeze everything. All right. After a while, he'll come down, and yeah, here's the boss himself. He's on this brain thing. He's kind of cool. I love this part of the song. Okay, and you'll choose something that's either made of fire or made of ice, depending on what it is. You use your correct, uh, use the correct jalapeno or thing correctly. If you don't destroy it in time, it'll wipe out your entire lane, whatever lane you shot the ball on, and it'll also destroy your lawn mower type pool cleaner thing. So you definitely want to make sure that you keep at least one of these the entire time. So I've been terrible planning right now, and I'm just gonna pick up the pace a bit. Uh, let's see. I want to put it here. But I can't So yeah, ice is very useful here since you can get that extra freeze going on and just give your plants an extra time to get some, you know, extra weed weight, you don't have to lose any plants, so, and then an extra freeze chance is very nice. You also can freeze him, like I kind of showed with the thing before, you can freeze him to freeze him, because you, this is this is how much damage he's taken, by the way, which is kind of weird, but you, they'll only attack him if there's nothing on their lane, so you have to drop all the zombies first, and that's another thing where you just freeze it, and yeah, and that's how you do it, so... Not really getting, we haven't got much damage on him because, like I said, we, haven't, we, have to, we have to eliminate the zombies on the lane. E each catapult can attack him when he goes down, but only when the zombie on the lane is gone. So, we have to wait for that. So, uh, let's take this out. And take that out as well. And I still have a hung. Awesome. Good. Make sure. Kind of worried there. Again, I want to spread out these buttons since they're really useful. And he'll, and he'll stand up pretty much any type of zombie. Even though, like, the... the, the Zam Zambonis we haven't even seen in the roof levels before, but there they are here, so... And get another thing going, so yeah. Now that we have not much zombies to worry about, most of our guys, except for the guys in this lane, will be attacking him, and he's taking damage, as you can see up there. And we got another fire, he's not done ice yet, but like I said, he'll also freeze if he's down here, and we can get some extra damage off on him, and now they can all just will on him, go! Go, my... And Bart does not freeze him, unfortunately, but yeah, we got some good damage there, and we're doing pretty well. I definitely recommend that you do say, don't plant too far ahead, and I'm going to show you why. I, I don't know if I'll, I'll show you why, but just don't, just trust me and don't do it, <laughs> I guess, because I don't really want to fool around too much, or else can, you know, just have my little flyer pot strategy and slow down the little, slow down those guys, that's, that's a good thing you can do. Um, for these guys, you're definitely going to want to keep your pawns, if I can get them one shot, yes! The mempos are doing up damage, I'm going to take them out with A. Thing of damage. These guys are very dangerous as well. So really, again, you, the, the, the things that you use to attack them with, you want to save for a zombie, so it's really annoying in that regard. So, yeah, I definitely say do not blast. Another P 
he's not done. What's the wrong one? He, yeah, he just landed one of these. That sucks. But he hasn't done the other one yet. It's annoying me. As a let's player, I must show off everything the boss can do. Something, some other things I like to do um, is that I didn't, again, I, I don't advise planting too much stuff and. Yeah, it's another reason why is because he'll do that sometimes, and I'm gonna do this, which I can freeze them all and give them time to actually attack them and stop them from being stolen, hopefully, which is not working. Oh, yeah, we're, yeah, got some of them off, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I kinda like when he does that because it kinda looks like he's a Puppet Master, which is kinda cool. Because he is the great Zom boss, the boss of all the Zoms. And yeah, here we go, I can show that, um, screen door zombies really don't do anything, and will move over catapults and they just attack straight through it, and I don't have, uh, let's get some, just, no. So I can, what, what I like to do is kinda get rid of cabbage and replace them with melons, since. They're really not that useful, and another thing I can't do anything about because I've used all my ice cream. So this lane's pretty much gone unless I get really lucky, unfortunately. Sometimes stuff like that just happens, it's just nothing I really do about it, except hopefully I'll get some flower pasta to replace it, and that sucks. And like I said, lawnmower also goes, so now this lane is really, really weak, and I still don't have any flower pasta put on that lane, so it's kind of ridiculous. And I finally get one of these things. I wasn't looking on that lane, but there we go, get rid of that, and I have nothing to plan here. Give me a pot! I can't plant anything here! This is not fair! Thank you! Ugh. Let me just do this and be safe for now. The fact that I took took that long to get something on that lane was ridiculous. If you plant something else in this if, 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 it, if it's a fire, if it's an ice, I'm screwed. And of course it is an ice, because my luck. Like, really? I'm gonna lose another one because of this. Ugh. Luck! Thank you, Han, 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 Han. I gotta plant it back here. So I have enough time to plant it. Just in time! Oh my goodness. Uh, I didn't lose my thing, which is very important. So yeah. Most conveyor belt levels are easy. Not so much this one. They're really gonna throw everything out at you. Since generally the final levels of every single level have been pretty easy. You really get these like ridiculously high amounts of setups for everything is just like destruction. And this level, this is really difficult. They're not just gonna let you beat this game without a fight, and I really need them. They're not giving me flower pots, it's annoying me. And these guys are also mean dice, which is I, I didn't mention because it doesn't like some recalls up that much. We still have a way to get rid of unless let's see, unless, let's see, please don't plan that something on this lane because I can't. Okay, good. Okay, and that's gonna go away from that. And I can freeze you and hopefully get some good damage off on you. And good, I'm getting some more flower pots so I can hopefully restart my battalion of destruction, death, and mayhem. So that's good. And he can see he, his foot is getting kind of messed up there. And yeah, after a while, he'll start doing that. He'll start throwing random buses and stuff and crushing up to six of your plants at the same time. So, he's always going to find ways to destroy your setups. There's no perfect setup for this. You just pretty much just have to keep fighting, pretty much. Just keep replacing what's destroyed and having your plants never give up. Because this is the final battle, and we're doing this. Brainiac Maniac style. What's the name of the song, by the way? Brainiac Maniac. So, so, I, so, I still think, I still like the theme better than this one. Great final boss team. I'm gonna freeze everything because I have nothing better to do. And I really just want to make sure that Fogo doesn't get to the not lawn thingy. Um, I really don't know. Oh, that's my plan. Replace that and I'm just gonna freeze everything again because I have a lot of these and I really don't have anything to do with, do with them. Uh, I should put this here, I guess. Why not? Yes, you're gone. You're gonna be gone in a second, hopefully. And I'm pretty much ready for whatever you have to offer. I'm gonna keep it just in case he plants it on this lane so I have that extra way of dealing with him. What's he gonna do? He's gonna go with fire and I can just freeze him and that will give me a lot of time for this frozen and for everyone to just completely wail on him. Go! Destroy! Go guys! You guys can do it! Ah! Now I have a fond every lane. Awesome. Let's get rid of some cabbage and get some melons out there. My melons. I'm just gonna take out these ones real quick. And that one has to go up here. I definitely don't I like, like to get rid of the bungees if I can, so. Uh, so. We are. A good, a good chunk of the way is done this. Whew! And. Here, here comes our first football player. I'm just gonna. Freeze you, because that's what I like to do. Damn it, I want to get. Ah, whatever. And also, not something you can do is you can plant a um, jalapeno that will do its own amount of damage to him if he's down there as well, so you can attack him upon him. Do so desire, just want to finish him off here. Looks like this may, looks like the next time he comes down will be his last time, unless he really wants to bring it. So, yeah, I'd like to keep one pot ahead just so I have that extra buffer. Sometimes he will do this, 
if you plant, that's, that's why I don't say, don't plant past this line, because he will stomp, and there go six of my plants, just like that, and now you need to rebuild. Ugh, it's almost over. How far we've come from just, from having one lane in a pea shooter against a simple zombie. All the different amount of zombies we've encountered in this game, and here it is, the final test. There are zombies on your lawn, on your roof, at night, at day, and it's time for this to be over. At least the main story. There's still tons to do in the post game. My god, the post game. There's so many mini games. I still need to show off iZombie, which you can do before the post game, but I just kind of want to show that post game, anyways, because, yeah. There is st there's still going to be tons of content from this game, so. <laughs> there's still million. There's still so much stuff in this game. Technically, I'm still technically playing my main file. There's still stuff I can do on that, honestly. And take out those two since they're annoying. Don't eat my good. Good, good, good. And looks like this will be the final time. Let's just freeze him and get him! Yeah! Freeze him again! And die! And that. Yeah! And that is this game. White flag and everything. Yeah! Freeze. Pult. Pot. Pult. Pawn. And we get 3k for that, and a silver trophy, and not as much things as we could have gotten. And we get the home lawn security for playing adventure mode. Okay, no more eating brains for us. We just want to make a music video with you now. Sincerely, the zombies. It's crit time! And that is Plants vs. Zombies' main adventure in a nutshell, and I love this song. And it's probably my favorite song. I uh, the song is awesome. Just, I don't know if I even, I, don't, I don't even want to talk over it. Walking back and forth. So I started level with that sunflower. Sunflower? Where is she, Yara? Zombies. No, we don't. I know your type, tall, dark, and dead. You wanna bite all the petals off of my head, and then eat the brains of the one who planted me here. No! That's how the zombies get the end of your lawn. But you need power and entire infantry. You like the taste of brains, we don't like zombies. Nope. I used to play foot. Foot. Ball. Protect my head. Protecting your head. I have a screen door shield. Screen door shield. We are the But he has no idea what a football is, they say. <laughs> I love this guy right here. I missed him. <laughs> it's really funny when they're. Oh, look. Fog machine. Is that how they're doing the fog in the fog levels? Maybe, who knows? Maybe it's time to reevaluate. I know you have a lot of food on your plate. Brains are quite rich in cholesterol. It's true, they are rich in cholesterol, honestly. You're dead, so it does matter. Instead, we'll use the solar power to make a lawn defense at any hour. I love that effect. I, like I love that tricycle! I love that butter effect, man. Dolphin's also a zombie. We are the undead. There's a zombie on your lawn. There's Crazy Dave. If you're wondering what happened to him, there's a zombie on your lawn. And there's Zomboss getting down. There's a zombie on your lawn. We don't want zombies on the lawn. See you folks, this has been Plants vs. Zombies, at least for the main adventure.